Well, anyway. Right oh! Oh, what is going on? I don't know. It just walked. <laughs> it walked on its own. That was super weird, and man. scary. That was super scary. Super scary. <laughs> like, it's... How did that happen? I could. I wish I could tell you, man. Hey, what's up, guys? What's going on, everybody? So just a quick update. I haven't talked to you in a while about EXO, and I want to talk to you all about EXO today and give everybody that might be wondering an exact update, exactly where we are with the build right now. So just kind of bear with us here, and we'll get to it. So what has happened is, is when we left you, it was at fifth gear, and it was putting around, and it was blowing all kinds of smoke and stuff. That was the last thing you guys saw. So at this point, um, they've had it for a while, and they've contacted Haltech, and they've been back and forth, and apparently in the configuration that we have going on, it can't be tuned. Tried everything. Absolutely everything. These guys have been back and forth with me at least a hundred times probably about, okay, we might have figured it out, and then turn around another corner and it's not. So this has definitely not been an easy project, as I'm sure you've seen in this long saga of videos. When you started watching, you probably didn't know it was going to be this long. We didn't <laughs> know it was going to be like this. We, we, we really thought that it would be running by now, and of course, we, we thought we'd have this thing at Summer IA last year. So, I mean, there's been a lot of... We did, though. We that's, were there. True. that's true. <laughs> it was there. That's and it was, true. It we looked, were all there. looked really good. We had a great time. If you saw us out there, maybe drop a comment below what you thought about it. That was just, yeah. a, just a beginning kind of stage. You might have seen it run for about, what, 10 seconds? Yeah, I most, think we but... fired it up a little bit, but yeah. that's about it. But, yeah, so anyway, um, so the deal is, is the sensors in this car, this motor was made for one model year. It's like a 2002, 2003 Outback. LL Bean. It's the unicorn of Subarus. It is, it, and we didn't really know that. I mean, we we knew that the um, that there was two H6s. Well, three really, if you count the EG33. Sorry. So there's three H6s, and um, we didn't really know a lot about this one. We just knew that the EZ30R, which is still an EZ30D technically, but that's what everybody kind of calls it, the EZ30R. We didn't really know that that was kind of a smarter option to take at the time. We just thought it was really cool that we found this in the junkyard, and we were like, we're doing it. We're putting this one in. So um, gotta go for it sometimes. Yeah. So you know, I mean, you, if you were there, you saw it. You saw how exciting it was to find it in the junkyard. Yes. Yes. It's good. Yes. And we just thought it was really cool to junkyard everything together. So fast forward about a year and, you know, stuff gets real and you start trying to tune things and like actually put it together and it gets wonky. So we have sensors in this car right now that aren't really communicating with the Haltech very well. From what I understand, even though this is a completely universal standalone ECU, this one particular model year and its sensors are just not able to communicate properly. So what we're trying to kind of do, and you can correct me here, is just kind of switch it over to a different set of sensors and sort of a conversion kit. Kind yeah, of? there's a signal conversion kit that we're trying to acquire. Well, what we just did yesterday was we bought a new cam, uh, new cam sensor and new crank sensor. And speaking of sensors, guys, I want to give a big shout out to everybody over at Classic Mobile Mechanics. Mechanic, our sponsors Roy and the guys we really appreciate y'all they just laid us down with some dough to get those sensors so we just want to thank them if you live in the Middle Tennessee area check them out because they'll come out to your house office wherever um, especially for you guys out there running like you know 10 trucks or something like that you know hit them up if you just want to have your cool car serviced at the house you don't want to take it anywhere make sure you holler at them anyway guys again that's classic mobile mechanic Inc. right here in middle tennessee i'll put the link down there for you guys go check them out and we're going to put those in so we know unequivocally that they're good then we'll try once again to see if we can get a signal from them if we can't get a signal from them we're going to we found a conversion kit that converts the signal that comes out of these sensors to the, to the type of uh, signal that the Haltech needs to see. God, that's a mouthful. God, that's a mouthful. So anyway, um, that's where we're at right now, kind of with it. It's, it's been interesting. We're definitely in the throes of Project Car Blues. You know, um, we wanted to see this thing run. We wanted to see it drive. We wanted to have it out riding around, not trailering it to events. We have been trailering it to events. So if you've seen it out there, also drop us a comment and let us know what you thought about it and you know the progress. Maybe go back and check out everything that we put out on it in the past and if you haven't checked out his content on it slide over to his channel at TN Speed. Come see me. Got a yeah. couple good videos on it. Some stuff you guys may not have seen over on this channel. 
Also, something I don't know if they've mentioned before, if you guys catch us out in public, either my car, you'll see my Instagram and everything tag on it, or this car, you should be able to tell whose it is. <laughs> make sure you uh, make sure you send us over some videos or some photos or something. If you see us rolling down the road, could be some pretty cool shots of this thing on a trailer. If you got videos, pictures, whatever, just tag, you know, at AV Car Chronicles or at TN Speed TV. We'll see and maybe we'll post them on our own. Hit hashtag XO Wagon. That's the one we use. So if you want us yep. to see it, you can hit that hashtag, man, XO Wagon. I'll put that right there for you. So anyway, or somewhere, maybe it'll be here. <laughs> could be know. over here. It could be here. Could be right there. It could be. All right, so anyway, also guys, if you'd like to support the channel, we'd sure appreciate it. We've got stickers. If you want to get on the in, on the low end right here, we've got stickers. These are five, these are eight. Let me know, holler at me, I'll send them right to your door. And of course, as some of you know, we do sell sunglasses. I'm wearing a pair, some Wes right is here. wearing a pair. Holler at us, we have several styles coming out. Um, I've got a pair of we got our carbon fiber sunglasses this is kind of our flagship if you guys haven't checked those out hit up our website apexvisionworks.com ultra lightweight sunglasses for when those extra few grams matter on the track <laughs> truthfully because race car we've got this awesome awesome pair these are a prototype right here i'm going to show them to you guys first this is an all wood aviator right here which we really really dig i think these look really good on ladies as well i mean they look on everybody i'm just saying they're they also can work for a, a, a woman or a, you know whatever anybody really but um they're super comfortable lightweight awesome wood frames those will be out soon we have aluminum aviators now let me show those to you guys real quick these are super lightweight Polarized lenses, man, super awesome. Check them out, dude. So anyway, um, if you, this is your first time on our channel, please go down in the bottom, hit that subscribe, like the video, throw us a comment, really helps us all out. Slide over to Wes's channel. Again, guys, TN Speed. We all roll together all the time. If you see one of us at an event, you'll probably see the other ones. So. Definitely. All right, guys, thanks for being here. We're going to have some more content on the EXO soon. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update and let you know where we're at right now. So we'll see you next time. Peace out.